today we're going to learn how to paint on fabric. I'm Kim from todayscreativelife.com and we're going to do something really creative today and make our own dish towels with stamped paint on fabric. Alright, so you're going to need a dish towel. This is just a thin tea towel. You can do this on um, pillow covers, any type of fabric. All right, here's one we already did. This is what we're going to do today. Okay, so you're going to lay out your fabric. And it doesn't bother me if there are um, wrinkles in it. It's fine. You're going to need lemons. I like to use two because I want two different sizes. Um, you don't have to use a lemon. You can use an orange. You can use a lime. Just any citrus will do. And what I've done is I've cut out the meaty part of the fruit. You need a fabric medium. This one's by Martha Stewart and it's a tintable fabric medium. I'm going to mix that with just a regular acrylic paint. So you do two parts paint one part fabric medium. I need a foam brush and I always keep a little baby wipe nearby because your hands get kind of uh, painty. Is that a word? Painty. So there's my fabric medium. I'm just going to eyeball this. It doesn't have to be, you know, exact. I'm just going to mix these together and I'm going to start painting my lemon. You do want to kind of smooth some wrinkles out, but you don't have to iron them. So I'm just going to paint my lemon, get the inside rind part or the, I don't know what that's called, but, and just Press it down just like if you were stamping with an ink stamp. Lift it up and you've got your imprint. So it looks like I need a little more paint on the inside of the lemon. So let's get a little more paint on there. And push down. And just push gently on the center because it's it feels kind of fragile little better. It's not turning out exactly the way I want, but it'll still be really cute. Add a little more paint to the center. Press down. Lift straight up. Oh, that one's a good one. So I'm going to switch to my other size. So it's a little smaller. You can do the same thing with, um, if you want to make your own potato stamp, you can do different designs, carve it out of a potato. Okay, so I've got this pretty loaded with paint, and I'm just going to push it down, and straight up. Oh, that's a good one. So after I do a few of these, in whatever pattern I want, maybe, you know, I mean, I don't really have a plan, you could plan a different design. So after I'm finished with stamping, I'm going to let it dry for about 24 hours. And then I'm going to heat set it by ironing it. I'll place another tea towel over the top, iron it, no steam. And then you can wash it and dry it and it'll stay. That's why you use the fabric medium so that the paint doesn't wash out during the wash. So then you'll end up with a cute little tea towel. There you go. 